might not need my glasses. Well, welcome, folks. Was that not a great set of presentations? Let's give everybody a hand. Yeah. So welcome to the awards ceremony for Circa 2017. It's a pleasure to have with us so many students, faculty mentors, community members, sponsors, judges. Um, we've enjoyed seeing you both in the ballroom and then right now uh, for the presentations of the awards. And so many people interested in undergraduate research, scholarship, and creative activity here at Washington State University. So I'm Assistant Vice Provost Mary Sanchez Lanier, and I'm honored to be one of the MCs for the sixth annual Circa Awards event. So today's awards ceremony is being live streamed, and so we've got cameras right back here. So if you don't want to be live streamed from the front, now's your time to make your way to the back. Uh, for those of you who want friends, relatives, or anyone to know that it is being live streamed, uh, you can go to circa.wsu.edu. And uh, on that front page, you're, you'll have immediate access to the live streaming. So if you have a message to send, feel free to pull out your cell phone and send them a message and let them know that it is being live streamed. Uh, we want to thank the WSU Global Campus team, who are the individuals responsible for this. And so thank you very much for doing this. So Circa was first held in 2012. And it has steadily earned and reaffirmed its place on the list of university points of pride. Today, it remains the premier and, in fact, only university venue where all undergraduates in all majors from all campuses uh, can present their work. And so it doesn't matter what the area, what the campus, we've got you all here. And it's a wonderful opportunity to share research publicly and receive awards for the outstanding presentations. Although in my opinion, every one of you who have presented are a winner. Circa also contributes greatly to the bigger picture here at WSU because it emphasizes how undergraduates and their mentors make important contributions to both uh, raising the profile of WSU as well as to national and international uh, research endeavors. Many of you may have heard President Schultz talking about the drive to 25. It's the university-wide effort to secure a place as one of the top 25 universities in the country, uh, known for impactful research. Circa goes a long way to demonstrating the types of research and in helping WSU to be successful at exactly that. Circa is also a powerful indicator of the transformational educational experience that undergraduates get here at Washington State University. However, we are actually all here because you are excited to learn the results of today's judging. So at this very moment, even as I speak, we don't have any envelopes yet. We'll tell you that. Uh, the judges are busy upstairs. There's over a dozen of them in the tally room, and they will have those down in the next couple minutes for us. But they are hard at work. So while we're waiting for those results, uh, we'll have a bit of an opportunity to tell you a little bit about undergraduate research at WSU and about Circa itself, and just for a couple minutes. So to do that, Please allow me to welcome Dr. Mary Wack, who's WSU's Vice Provost for Undergraduate Education, to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. And good afternoon to everybody here, and a warm welcome to you from me as well. It is my honor to be with you today at the, this year's annual Circa Awards event. It was 11 years ago that WSU launched the Office of Undergraduate Research. 
And back then, we were envisioning an all-university venue, as Mary mentioned, in which students from all fields, all campuses, all corners of the university could share their results from a specific project that they had worked on in the recent past with a faculty mentor. That event came to be known about six years ago as the Showcase for Undergraduate Research and Creative Activities. The acronym for that long name was CIRCA. But, you know, that doesn't sound exactly like research. Um, but committee member Ana Maria Rodriguez Vivaldi, who is now an associate dean in the College of Arts and Sciences, but at the time was in the College of Foreign Languages and Cultures, she pointed out that the word surca in Spanish means tills or furrows in the agricultural sense. So the committee saw immediately that there was a certain symmetry or certain appropriateness in that because the event named surca symbolically refers to the hard work that goes into students' research, scholarship, and creative activities so that sometimes something new can grow and flourish in the fertile research environment of WSU. The results are not just knowledge, they also encompass personal and particularly professional growth of each and every participant. Circa, in fact, has grown so popular and successful over the years that it's become a WSU tradition how many tweets did we get from the president and his wife today? Uh, it has become a WS, uh, has had an ever increasing numbers of presenters and judges, record number today. It is now the first and kickoff event in the university showcase week, indicating what a key place it holds in the vision of WSU as a research university probably didn't know, most of you, that it's mentioned in the university's strategic plan. And thanks to generous sponsors and donors this year, we could well see more Circa Awards presented today than ever before. And I have to say, as I was looking at the posters and the presentations today, I thought, this is the best year ever. There was an energy in that room. Uh, students engaged. The number of posters, really, it only gets better year to year. In addition to benefiting the university in many ways, Circa gives students the opportunity to experience something that's quite remarkable. The exchange of information through the simple act of presentation and interaction. Both of these enrich your experience and have a high impact on learning. Most importantly, this exchange of information advances the frontiers of knowledge, of scholarship, of creative activity. In closing, may I say that I find it both invigorating and inspiring to observe firsthand the knowledge, the excitement, the passion that every one of you has brought to your project over the months and especially here today. With your mentors, you're creating solutions to social and technical problems. You are generating vast amounts of knowledge. You are creating new music, new forms of pleasure and meaning in the world. The university, the state of Washington, the nation and the world all benefit from these efforts. And for that, every Circa participant has contributed something important today. So would those of you who presented your research today please stand so that we can congratulate you. We thank, we thank you and are very proud of each of you. Please, thank, please join me in thanking Dr. Weck. It's very important to realize what an important role Circa fills, not only to the students that participated, but also to our entire university. Many of you probably know or, or have seen me before, but I'm Shelley Presley. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Research, which is part of WSU Undergraduate Education. I was also an undergraduate researcher way back when I was in college. Uh, it was a very formative and fun experience 
for me. And so I'm very honored to be here today to help a new generation investigate important topics in terms of research. Here are a few more details about Circa. Today, we had just under 200 judges from the university and the community that they, they reviewed nearly 250 posters and heard well-practiced in-person or virtual presentations from more than 225 students from five campuses. It takes a lot of people to bring together such a large event. And I feel there are a few more people that we need to thank in order before we get to the awards. So first I'd like to thank the WSU libraries. They offer presenters the chance to create a permanent record of their work by submitting digital copies of posters to the digital archive. It's called the Research Exchange and presenters will get a flyer in their feedback, feedback envelopes uh, when they return to their posters after the ceremony. Second, I'd like to thank the Global Campus. Uh, they not only provided the necessary technology to connect the virtual presenters throughout the state, uh, but they're also um, live streaming this award ceremony to presenters and their friends and families. So if there are representatives here from uh, Global Campus or the libraries, could you please stand? Let's, let's thank them. I'd also like to acknowledge the faculty and staff who served as research mentors to every student who presented today. Mentors, would you please stand? <laughs> These mentors open their doors and minds and hearts to bright and hardworking students. They're on the front line preparing the next group of innovators to not only ask the tough questions, but to find the answers to so much more than we can really imagine. Next, I'd like to recognize the members of the planning committee who have worked for months to bring about Circa 2017. They include, and please stand if they're not back in the tally room working, please stand, Leanne Tibbles, Lindsay Shigatomi, Andres Martenko, Lydia Gerber, Daniel Reek, Jeremy Lessman, Samantha Gazarian, Dee Posey, Talea Anderson, Beverly McConney, and Cindy Williams. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> we also greatly appreciate those who support undergraduate researchers and Circa through their gifts. I hope you notice the names of the generous sponsors who provided funding for the many awards we are about to present. In alphabetical order, the sponsors this year include Alturas Analytics, The Boeing Company, Meter Group, which was formerly known uh, locally as Decagon Devices, alumnus Robert H. and Mary L. Reich, Coog Parents from Richland, Washington, the Washington State Opportunity Scholarship Program, and the WSU Office of the Provost and Executive Vice President. I would like to add to that list of sponsors the names of campuses and other organizations that will later match or contribute to awards that are made to any award winners from their organization. So the Louis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation, known as LSAMP, the WSU Emeritus Society, Washington State Opportunity Scholars, the WSU Global Campus. If you are a representative from any of these organizations, would you please stand? Let's thank them. <laughs> Last but not least, we must acknowledge the many individuals who worked at today's event, including our judges and members of several student clubs. Would you please stand? All of the judges volunteered their time and represented many colleges and university programs, as well as external organizations. Members of student clubs help with many important details of Circa, such as setting up and taking down the boards on which the posters are displayed. So thank you very much. So without all of you, this celebration of student research would not have been possible. With that, 
I now welcome back to the lectern Mary Sanchez Sanier. Thank you, Dr. Presley. So, I know we're all excited to hear about the awards, but one last thing, and then we'll get to those. Um, I did want to briefly explain the judging process. So every student presenter was carefully evaluated by at least three judges today using a recently updated Circa rubric. And if you're interested, you can find the Circa rubric at our website, circa.wsu.edu. We have eight different categories, and the number of awards in each of those eight categories is partially determined by the number of students presenting in that category. There are up to four types of award in each category. So the Crimson Award is the highest award in each category. That's followed by the Gray Award. We also have an award called the Novice Researcher Award. And this award is specifically for students who have spent two semesters or less on their specific project. Uh, in addition, we have Early Career Awards. And the Early Career Awards are for freshmen and sophomores uh, specifically. All Circa winners will receive a monetary award. Uh, these are possible, as you heard just a minute ago, thanks to the support we have from Alturas, Boeing, Meter, the Reek family, WSOS, and the Provost Office. So, almost time, getting there, but one last thing. Okay, that's the directions part, all right? So we're getting close, folks. Um, if your name is called for an award, First, you are going to wish that you had had the confidence to sit at the end of your row instead of the middle so that you don't have to jump over everybody. But if your name is called, your job is to leap out of your chair and step on everybody's feet as you dash to the end over here. There's only one entrance to the stage, and so we're going to ask you to come through the door, and it's got a uh, says this way on it, and then come around and up through the door here and we'll congratulate you. We have an envelope for you, and then we're going to ask you to stay up on the stage uh, for a picture. We'd also like the mentors to join us uh, with the students, and so if the mentor is present, please both of you come up uh, for the awards. Uh, we're going to call the names um, sort of one after another, and so some applause after each name is fine, because we want to like hoot a little bit for the people we're calling, but we're going to call a name. We're going to try to keep it moving, because there's a fair number of awards. So feel free to applaud, but again, we will try to keep uh, the whole thing moving. So now, Dr. Zwack, Dr. Presley, I'm thinking I see some envelopes there somewhere. You guys want to come out here for the congratulations part? and I will read and pass you the envelopes. All right, this is where I want to make sure I've got the glasses on. So, our first category is in computer science, mathematics, statistics, and information sciences. And we have a Crimson Award in that category, and that goes to Ryan Summers, mentor Shui Zhang. We have to keep shouting and clapping because we have only one in that category. <laughs> However, I will give you just a little bit more information. This category is for research that seeks to solve practical problems. Whoops, I'm not giving you information in the right spot there. All right, so this category is for projects in pure mathematics or computational studies, as well as those areas of research that deal with the collection, classification, manipulation, storage, retrieval, or dissemination of information. So congratulations. <laughs> and once again, congratulations, Ryan. All right, our next category is in the Applied Sciences. And our first award is an Early Career Award, 
and that goes to presenter Jessica Hartman, mentor Megan Lewin, and I hope I pronounced that right. We have a novice award, and that goes to Kimberly Cedillo. Uh, mentor is Amber Adams Progar. We have a Gray Award, and the Gray Award for Applied Sciences goes to Brennan Hyden, and Amit Dingra is the uh, mentor. We have another Gray Award in Applied Sciences, and the presenter is Alexander Haas, and the mentor is Travis Alexander. A Crimson Award goes to Megan Miller and mentor Katherine Daniels. And another Crimson Award to Aaron Appleby and John Reganald is the mentor. Okay, the Applied Sciences category is for research that seeks to solve a practical problem through the use of natural science. Applied science differs from fundamental science uh, because fundamental science seeks to solve basic uh, problems and forces and has less emphasis on the practical application. So once again, let's give our group a big hand. Okay, the next category is the molecular, cellular, and chemical biology category. So we have an early career award, and this is for Ryan McLaughlin with the mentor Anthony Nicola. The next award is a novice award, which goes to Marie Andressen, mentor Michael Court. For the Gray Award, we have an award to Colin Warwick with the mentor Ryan McLaughlin. Another Gray Award is awarded to Sierra Bishop, mentored by Cliff Berkman. One more Gray Award, and this Gray Award goes to Lindsay Mori, mentored by Michael Varnum. Okay, on to the Crimson Awards in Molecular, Cellular, and Chemical Biology. We have a Crimson Award going to Brendan Myers, mentored by Daniel Lum. Another Crimson Award for Shimin Tan, mentored by Rita Fuchs Lokensgard. And the last Crimson goes to Samantha Beck, mentored by Chantel Martinez.
The category for research in the biological sciences where the goal is to elucidate interactions within the cell and the molecular and biochemical mechanisms underlying biological processes. Projects in these areas can be from diverse fields of the biological sciences such as evolutionary biology, developmental biology, neuroscience, microbiology, genetics, and molecular plant sciences. Okay, our next category is arts and design. The first award is a novice award, and the award goes to Philip Van Devanter, Shelby Ruiz, and Kelly Young, mentored by Kathleen Ryan. We have another Gray Award, and this is presented to and I apologize for this. Hamidresa Esmeralu, Quentin Lum, Victoria Page, James Reyes, also mentored by Kathleen Ryan. We have one gray award in the arts and design category, and that goes to Maria Tatum, also mentored by Kathleen Ryan. We have two Crimson Awards. The first Crimson Award is for Jake Cargill, mentored by Scott Blasco. And the last Crimson is for Kirill Polianski, mentored by Scott Blasco. So the arts and design category is for creative activities in arts and design and would embrace a variety of areas including but not limited to apparel design, textiles, architecture, art in all of its forms, creative writing, dance, film, music, performance, journalistic products, and multimedia. We have social sciences. Okay, so, whoops. First award is an early career award. The presenter was Heather Heidenreich, and the mentor is Lydia Gerber. We have a novice award. And presenter was Davin Fladiger McCullough. And the mentor again is Lydia Gerber. <laughs> A novice award goes to Kaylin Hamill Reekin. And the mentor is Sonia Hall. A Gray Award in Social Sciences for Aria Petrucci, and the mentor is Kari Cutler. We have a Gray Award for Claire Thornton, and the mentor is Lydia Gerber. A Gray Award for Hallie Schultz, and the mentor is Janessa Graves. A 
a Gray Award for Kelsey Dammeyer, and the mentor is Maureen Schmitter Edgecombe. A Crimson Award goes to Rebecca Pod Podsus, and Lee Daffin is the mentor. A Crimson Award for Mia Reekman, and the mentor is Carrie Cutler. A Crimson Award for Sarah Von Nata, and the mentor is Janessa Graves. We have a Crimson Award for Anna Barnes, and the mentor is Jesse Sponholtz. And the last Crimson Award is for Zachary Schramm, and Melissa Goodman Elgar is the mentor. The social science category is for research in the field of study concerned with society. Research and scholarship in this category would embrace the various branches in the social sciences, including, but not limited to, anthropology, communication, criminal justice, economics, education, geography, history, human development, international studies, law, linguistics, management, political science, psychology, sociology, teaching and learning, and topics in areas of business administration. A big hand for this group. Our next category is engineering and the physical sciences. We have an early career award for Dylan Blair. The mentor is Arda Gosen. There's a novice award for presenter Austin Blake, and the mentor is Ard Arda Gosen. A gray award goes to Brian here. And the mentor is Amit Bandio Padhe. A gray award for Travis Holloway. Mentor is Paul Benny. A gray award for Matthew Waldrop. Mentor Brian Collins. Crimson Award in Engineering and Physical Sciences goes to Madison Newberry, mentor Mia Kiamko. And the last Crimson Award is for presenter Chia Ling Kan, and the mentor is Nahal Abu Lal. This category encompasses any research done in areas such as chemistry, engineering, environmental physical sciences, geology, material science, physics, or resource sciences. Let's give them all a big hand. There's more. There's more. All right. Once again, a big hand for engineering and physical sciences. All right, our next category is humanities. 
I have a novice award, goes to presenter Casey McNichols with the mentor Lydia Gerber. For the Gray Award, the presenter is Sydney Robertson with the mentor Ashley Boyd. And the Crimson Award goes to presenter James Whitbread, mentor Shiv Karun Karan. The humanities category is for research that studies the human condition. Research and scholarship in this category would embrace the various fields of the humanities, including but not limited to American studies, anthropology, communication studies, cultural studies, education, English, film studies, history, art, history, music, languages, law, literature, philosophy, and religion. Let's give this group another round of applause. Okay, our final category is the Organismal, Population, Ecological, and Evolutionary Biology category. We have one early career award in that category, which goes to Abigail Kate with a mentor, David Crowder. We have a novice award winner. Presenter is Connor Osterlund with a mentor, Ryan Boylan. We have three gray awards in this category. The first gray, Award goes to Carly Knox with the mentor of Rebecca Kraft. Second gray is for Madison Armstrong, whose mentor is Mark Dibdahl. And the third gray award goes to Angela Roki, whose mentor is Joseph Harding. And for the Crimson, we have three Crimson Awards. The first Crimson is, goes to Ashley Hoon with the mentor of Omar Carnejo. <laughs> Second Crimson goes to uh, a dual presenters, Kenny Hawk and Ryan Meach with the mentor Ala Kasakova. And our last Crimson goes to presenter David Navarro, whose mentor is Lisa Shipley. For the Organismal Population, Ecological, and Evolutionary Biology category, it's for research that deals with the analysis of physiology, morphology, reproduction, and behavior of organisms. The establishment of adap adaptations over evolutionary time organismal interactions in the environment, and population species and community ecology. Biological systems studied in this category will range from viruses and bacteria to soil, plants, and animals. Congratulations to not only the student winners, but to every one of you, because every one of you are winners, uh, all the presenters for 2017 Circa. <laughs> we truly are overwhelmed by the quality of work that was presented today. I don't know how many years we can keep saying it just keeps getting better, but it just keeps getting better. 
and you guys truly did a fabulous job today. So a couple of housekeeping things before we end. We would like all the student winners, um, and this time just the students, all up on stage for a final picture uh, before we end tonight. So if all the students could return to the stage in just a second. And then another note to the presenters, be sure to go back to the senior ballroom to retrieve your poster uh, before the afternoon is done. And in addition, you should have some comments from the judges uh, at your poster. So both of those should be there. So don't forget about your poster up there uh, and your feedback forms that'll be with uh, your posters. So once again, thank you to all the Circa presenters and thank you to all who have been involved in Circa with both uh, talking with the students and encouraging them as well as some of the, the judging and sponsoring, et cetera. Keep up the great research, and we look forward to another event next year. Thank you.